Hey guys, Maggie Fleckno here from Eye Opener, and I am very excited. All the way from Los Angeles, we have a very special guest with us. We are joined by Medium Blur. Thanks so much for coming. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for having me. Now, tell us why you are in Houston. You're about to do an event. Yes, I'm about to do an event. So I'm a medium, so I connect people to their loved ones on the other side. And I love to do them for group events, so that people who are not quite sure, a little bit, you know, like iffy about it, can come and see what it's all about, maybe get a reading. So that is happening on Friday at the Unity. That's, now, I don't know, were you just born with, how did you become a medium? I mean, it's not something we study at school, so is it just Definitely something not. within you? Was it a calling? Yeah, so it has been around for my entire life. So when I was little, I thought everybody saw the, the world the way that I saw the world. Um, that is and was my reality. So I saw people who had passed over. I had all this detailed information about them. And it was really my parents who first said, there is something different going on. She's not making it up. The information's correct. Uh, we don't know what it is, so it wasn't discouraged and it wasn't encouraged, and it was just kind of was my little weird thing. And it wasn't until I was about 18 that I realized it was mediumship and uh, started doing it for people as readings, and it really was just life-changing for them and for me, so I kept at it. Is it kind of a burden in a way? Because, mm. I mean, that's a lot to carry. A lot of, right. you know, spirits and that. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I think I used to see it as a burden to some extent because it was something that made me different and odd. And for a long time, I really struggled with that. But once I started learning how to use the gift, how to control it in such a way that I can connect to somebody's individual loved ones, it became quite the opposite. The stories are heavy in some way, but you get to bring so much closure and so much peace that it really lifts somebody else's burden. So it doesn't really become a burden anymore because you see the exceptionally transformative work uh, that can be done. And you can see people going from being very stuck in life, just grieving and not being able to move forward to kind of regaining some footing and, and moving forward and, and being um, a little bit of a new person. So it's, it's not so much a burden as it is a gift, I think. Right, and you've been in books and whatnot, so yeah. your career, you make a career out of this. Yeah, you know, it's so funny. When I first graduated from college, I went to UCLA, um, and I'm originally from Houston, so I, I went to California for school, and this is about seven, eight years ago, and um, I did not think I would ever be doing this as a job. But when I graduated, I'd been doing some readings on the side, and I just fell in love with it. It was such, it felt like such a blessing to be able to give this to other people. And I remember thinking, well, I have a car that's paid off, so I can always sleep in my car <laughs> if this doesn't work out. Uh, but within two months, I really had a waiting list. You know, that was three months, and it really snowballed from there. Everybody would talk to their friends about it, and it was really just this amazing thing that I didn't have to um, worry about, you know, in terms of, like, how am I going to make a career out of this? Mm -hmm. It just happened. It wasn't something I planned. So <laughs> Walk us through, so if we come see you mm -hmm. on Friday, walk us through what the process is exactly. Yes, so I believe as a medium that everybody has a soul. And it really has nothing to do with religion, although some religions do believe that there's an afterlife. Um, but I believe that everybody has a soul within their physical body. And when we pass over, we still have that soul. We just don't have the physical. So what I do as a medium is I bring my energy out and I invite the spirit world in. Now they connect with me one by one. And so when I'm doing this for a group, I will give some information about the person I'm connecting with, such as I've got a father here, he passed up cancer, some details about how many kids he had perhaps, or what he looked like, or anything of that sort. And I may go to a specific person in the audience then. Um, I may ask for people to be like, oh, that's mine, you know, that, that's my dad. Um, and after that, I give them messages and I give more details and more evidence that their loved ones are around them. Now, the event those readings happen really quickly because it's about five, ten minutes and we're going, 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 going. So as many people can come through as absolutely possible. And uh, it really is, is quite beautiful. You know, people um, laugh, they cry, like it's, it's a whole, it's a whole event. So it's Now if we sweet. want to come out on Friday, do you have yes. the specifics, the details? I do. It's going to be at the Unity Church uh, of Houston and it's from 7.30 to 9.30. You can get tickets online at my website mediumfleur.com, that's spelled F-L-E-U-R, uh, or you can buy them at the door. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm actually excited because I'm going to be having a reading next, but if you want to have your reading, like Fleur said, she will be at the Unity Church this Friday. So 
go and check it out. You never know who you might connect with. And thank you so much for taking time to connect with us and our viewers. It was a pleasure having you. This is great. Thank you so much. It's nice to be back in Houston. Good. Well, yeah. we're glad to have you.